Senator Udicek, District Attorney Salavantis, Mayor Yanuzzi, Bishop Rossetti, Reverend and Rabbi, ladies and gentlemen, and my sisters and brothers in law enforcement, thank you and welcome to a day of solemn remembrance and joyous celebration. Solemn remembrance of the passing of women and men who gave their lives rather than swerve from the path of duty. Joyous celebration for the heroic acts of the members of law enforcement who walk among us today. Today marks the third annual Hazelton National Peace Officer Memorial Day. O Lord God, our Father, in whom all generations of mankind live and move and have their being, we devoutly implore remembrance with special gratitude for all police officers throughout this nation, especially in the city of Hazelton, who have given their lives as the supreme sacrifice offered in accord with their sacred oath of office in service to their city and nation. This day we make special note of Ernesto Valint, beloved son of our city who gave his life in service of this community and its citizens. May no forgetfulness of ours make them to have perished as though they had never been. To the end, these dead shall not have died in vain. May we receive with fit humility the fruits of their sacrifice and carry on to further fulfillment of their dearest hope for this their land and our treasured home. Teach us, Lord God, to serve as they did, to give and not count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not seek for rest, to labor and not to ask for reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. We confide to your hands those who serve each day, placing their lives at the service of this community and its residents, willing to stand in the face of danger and harm for our peace, well-being, and the common good. Defend them by your mighty right arm from the outrageous barbs of unjust criticism and ingratitude unfairly directed at them, oftentimes sadly by the very people in government who should be first and foremost in their defense and support. Be mindful of those young men and women who are preparing for careers in law enforcement. Give them courage, discernment, and fortitude. May St. Michael the Archangel, patron of all law officers, continue to slay the new dragons of our time, which attack the morale of our police, the fabric of our society, against which these women and men form our best and truest defense. This I ask in the name of Jesus the Lord. If you walk up onto the third floor of City Hall, you will see a door that reads, Hazelton Detective Division, and right next to it, another door that reads, Luzerne County District Attorney's Southern Annex. For the first time, and at least as long as I can recall, the Luzerne County District Attorney has an office in Southern Luzerne County, and it is used hard. The closeness extends from the district attorney and her entire staff all the way through every county detective under Chief Michael DeSoy. District Attorney Salavanta stepped into her position and immediately became a champion of the underdog. For the little guy, for the small cities, towns, boroughs, and townships that make up Luzerne County. Truth be told, the Hazelton Police Department and many other municipal law enforcement agencies represented here today would never survive without the assistance provided by the Luzerne County District Attorney, her office, and the county detectives. They provide extra staff, support, equipment, and a level of expertise second to none. This help is critical when time is of the essence and you do not have resources of your own. It is often the difference between solving a case and not, between making an arrest and not, between getting a conviction and not, 
between truly allowing justice to be served or not. Like the doors at the top of the stairs in City Hall, one alongside the other. I am proud to work alongside District Attorney Salavantis, Chief Desoy, and the entire Luzerne County District Attorney's Office. In a time when the nation needs more leaders and less politicians, when we need to enforce and uphold the law, not hide behind it, and when we need to accentuate the good 99.9% .9 of law enforcement does, instead of exploiting the bad of 0.01%, I am honored to introduce to you the Luzerne County District Attorney who stands with us, beside us, and when needed, leads the way. District Attorney Stephanie Salavantis. Thank you, Chief, for that kind introduction. It's a pleasure to be here on this important and solemn occasion when we gather to remember and honor those soldiers of the law who have given their lives carrying out their sworn duty to ensure the safety of the citizens of our community. I would like to thank Mayor Yanuzi, Hazelton City Council members, and Chief DeAndrea for inviting me here today and providing me the opportunity to speak in tribute to law enforcement members throughout the state and nation. I would also like to commend the Hazelton City Police Department as well as police departments throughout Luzerne County, Carbon County, Schuylkill County, as well as the state police and federal agencies for the work done by all on a daily basis. I thank you for the service to our community. We stand here today to honor all of the 900,000 sworn law enforcement officers now serving this nation, the highest in history. They, they serve in small towns to teeming cities. They serve on the back roads of countrysides to the highways of stately avenues. They are the thin blue line. But on this day, we pay st special tribute to the points at which that blue line becomes a bit thinner. We gather today residents, council members, politicians, law enforcement to pay homage to law enforcement officers who gave their lives last year so that we may live in safety. For those of you in law enforcement, you and those who have gone before you have volunteered to follow a higher standard with a higher degree of integrity, honesty and conduct. You volunteered to protect this nation, its citizens. You volunteered to run towards danger, to the sound of gunfire when everyone else runs from it. And you do this to save the lives of people you've often never met. You volunteered to subject yourself to the scrutiny and questions of the community. You volunteered to make split-second decisions that may mean life or death. You're both desperately needed and totally unwanted at the same time, in the same place, and sometimes even by the same person. It takes courage to do the job that you do. It takes resilience as well. But that's what separates the heroes from everyone else. The hero stays the course, goes, from, goes that extra step, puts him or herself on the line at the risk at the risk of personal peril. The hero is the one who makes that necessary arrest, even though he knows his entire profession is under attack at this time. The hero is the one who goes to court, swears under oath, and provides testimony to convict the criminal. The hero is the one who stands before angry mobs, honoring the constitutional freedom of assembly, but often has rocks or even worse thrown at him, ironically by the same people whose constitutional rights he is trying to protect. The hero is the one who com comforts the accident victim, the child pulled out of a, an abusive home, the elderly person robbed by his caregiver, and the woman who has been raped. 
The hero is the one who pulls the drunk driver off the road so he doesn't hit the car full of high school kids going to a prom. The hero is the one who goes into a school and says something so important, so profound, that a kid doesn't try drugs or join a gang because of his words. When a member of our police force falls, it hits us all hard, likely because we really lose a hero. And when we do lose a hero, how incredible it is seeing the police and the community pull together. The PSP strong movement that arose out of tragedy being a prime example of that. Each and every day, though it's an uphill climb and a mostly thankless battle, our officers lace up their boots, put on their badges, and walk the walk of the righteous because they are good men and women who, despite all odds, refuse to do nothing. So on days like today, when we recognize the thin blue line might occasionally get thinner, we may find comfort in this fact. It shall never break for the brotherhood and sisterhood standing firm behind the shield is so brave, so resilient, so strong that the thin blue line is unbreakable. On behalf of all citizens of Luzerne County, I'd like to take this time and this day to remember those officers who have fallen walking the walk of the righteous. Our respect, our thoughts, our worries, and our prayers are with you. May St. Peter welcome our fallen officers to heaven. May St. Michael protect the officers fighting to protect us. And may God have mercy on the souls of the wicked, because the police officers of Luzerne County will not. Thank you. Lighting of the candle. The candle symbolizes light over dark, the power over goodness, over the darkness of evil, a sign of solidarity of the living to remember those who have passed. Candles were burned at the tombs of the early martyrs as signs of solidarity with Christians still on earth. Because the light burned as a silent vigil, they became known as vigil lights. Like the unwavering silent but constant vigilance of law enforcement, a candle provides reassurance and hope as well as serving as a symbol of unwavering devotion. This year, in remembrance of all fallen law enforcement officers, and specifically for Pennsylvania State Police Corporal Byron Dixon, who was senselessly murdered, and Trooper Alex Douglas was seriously injured, I ask Pennsylvania State Police Sergeant James Graham and Corporal James Myers to have the honor of lighting the vigil candle and placing it in front of the memorial. It seems almost a shame to end that wonderful introduction with my speech. Thank you, Chief DeAndre. Thorough, efficient, and effective as always. Today, it is our, our task to honor the legacy of Hazleton police officers, past and present, who best exemplify uncommon acts of heroism. Those who lay their life on the line to protect us, and those who, through simple, common acts of generosity and engagement, make our city a better place. It is important that we understand and appreciate that police officers are the civilian soldiers in the battle to keep the peace. We have empowered them with a weapon and a badge to turn back the tide of violent crime, repeal and repel the scourge of drugs, and to protect our families. But the most powerful tool, the most powerful tool our city has to win the war against crime, to take back our streets, is the police officer who has earned the respect of those he serves, who has earned the trust of those he serves. The police officer, ladies and gentlemen, that police officer can transform our community and change the life trajectory of an at-risk child. That police officer is not just 
a keeper of the peace. He's a community builder. In my view, the community policing initiatives employed here in Hazleton by Chief DeAndre and his wonderful department are some of the best examples of police community engagement in all of Pennsylvania. Chief DeAndre, the brave men and women of the Hazleton City Police Department are constantly, constantly seeking new and innovative ways to embrace this great community. The Hazleton Police Department fully engaged with my office and Congressman Barletta in advancing Operation Gang Up, helping us write Pennsylvania's first anti-gang law, helping us create and deploy Pennsylvania's first mobile street crime unit, and providing resources to our community crime watch groups. Chief DeAndre and the department are also helping build the bridge from the Hazleton One Community Center to our families here in Hazleton that need that center. And they are lending a strong, powerful voice to the chorus of advocates for the Luzerne County Shine After School Program, a tested and powerful crime prevention tool that will soon be available in the Hazleton School District. To those worthy stewards, of Hazleton, to those worthy stewards of this great city that stand behind us, to those who wear the badge and accept its responsibility, to those who are willing to pay the ultimate price, and to those who never retreat, but fully engage again and again, neighborhood by neighborhood, family by family, I say thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for making Hazleton a better and safer city. Thank you, and may God bless you and keep you safe. I would like to now introduce Hazelton Police Department Administrative Lieutenant Kenan Zapofsky, who shall tell the story of HPD fallen officer Ernesto Nesti Valent. Lieutenant Zapofsky. It was May 15, 1938, on Broad Street, Hazelton's thoroughfare a bustling business district. According to newspaper accounts, Valent, a good-humored distinguished member of the Hazelton Police Department, was working in busy traffic at Broad and Church Streets, just as he had had for the past 17 years. When a cry for help sounded, he sprung into action as he normally would. John Sotak, age 8, of Harwood, was hit by a vehicle driven by Henley Leidner of Ringtown while he was playing in traffic. The boy suffered from a broken leg. Leidner began to take Sotak to the hospital, but traffic was thick with pedestrians, horses, vehicles, and wagons. Leidner found down, flagged down Patrolman Valente, who jumped into the vehicle's running board and blowing his whistle, cleared the way for the car as it continued east on Broad Street to the state hospital several blocks away. At Broad and Wyoming Streets, Lidner faced the red light. A wagon driving south on Wyoming Street entered the intersection and Lidner hit his brakes hard. Valent was thrown from the vehicle, landing head first into the roadway. Although Patrolman Valent was rushed to the hospital by fellow officers and later died, the boy was saved. Valent was also one of the oldest members of the department hired in April 1921, and a capable traffic officer who had not one blemish on his record. Thank you, Lieutenant Sapofsky. In accordance with Mayor Yanuzzi's mayoral proclamation, each year the Chief of Police is to stand on the steps of City Hall and read the list of names of all fallen HPD officers on May 15th. 1925, 90 years ago, a young patrolman, Ernesto Valent, stood on this very step and posed for a photo along with 24 of his brothers in law enforcement. They were the Hazelton Police Department. Patrolman Valent walked this beat and traveled these steps until this very date, May 15th, 1938. I am both sad and happy to call the single name Patrolman Ernesto Valent. He is the only member of the Hazelton Police Department to die in the line of duty. I pray 
that not only for my tenure as chief of police, but forever, Patrolman Valent shall remain the single name on the list and the sole plaque hanging on the walls of this building. Rest assured of one thing, in this world, terror will not rest, violence will not sleep, and evil will not die. If we honor and remember those who have served, compassion will prevail, justice will triumph, and freedom will reign. Each year, the Hazelm Police Department remembers all of the fallen officers by placing a wreath at the memorial in front of City Hall. The wreath is a symbol of eternal life and a way of remembering the lives of fallen officers who paid the ultimate sacrifice. It is in this remembrance that we do, in fact, continue to live with us today. This year, the wreath shall pass through the hands of each member of law enforcement from multiple agencies represented here today as a symbol of our unity and commitment to support and assist each other and to serve our communities and our Commonwealth as one cohesive unit. The wreath shall then be placed at the base of the monument so that all who pass City Hall shall all remember the heroes we recognize today. The laying of the wreath. The tradition of a wreath dates back into the 12th century when wreaths were used to symbolize eternal life. The circle, having no beginning and no end, shall symbolize patrolman Valent and all our brothers and sisters who have paid the ultimate sacrifice by giving their lives in the line of duty. They shall never be forgotten and live on with us in spirit. Three years ago, when I spoke with Mayor Yanuzzi about becoming the Chief of Police, he had a vision. He wanted to make the Hazelton Police Department better than it ever was. He wanted the department to serve the public better than it ever had. And he wanted the department and the members of the department to have what they needed to stay safe and do their jobs. And he wanted the public to be proud of their police department. Three years later, the Hazelton Police Department has new uniforms, new cars, new offices, new weapons, new computers, new radios, new surveillance cameras, new policies, new procedures, and the list goes on. The department is better equipped to stay safe and protect the community because of one simple fact, the mayor's priorities for me when I was hired. Although today's tribute is in recognition of Peace Officer Memorial Day, nothing this, to police, this police department has accomplished in the past three years would have been achieved without the constant support of Mayor Yanuzzi. I am proud to introduce the person I believe is the biggest supporter of the Hazelm Police Department, Mayor Joseph Yanuzzi. Thank you, Chief. When I was elected mayor, I had a vision of making Hazleton the best city in Pennsylvania. In order to do that, I know we needed not only to look our best, but be our best. I started to work on a plan that would accomplish this. A huge portion of the plan was to have a police department that could be a model for the community and the Commonwealth. So I put a team together. One member of that team was Chief DeAndrea. I then empowered him with a mission. Build a Hazleton Police Department into a model of efficiency. I knew the men of the department were of great character and willing to work hard. 
I just needed to find a way to provide them with what they needed to serve the community. I am so proud of the Hazleton Police Department. We have built this department into a force to be reckoned with. These are some of the best men, and now women, in law enforcement. On any given day, these men and women risk their lives to do one thing, protect and serve. And they do that without reserve, without request of anything. They protect and serve, knowing that today may be the day they have to lay down their life rather than swerve from the path of duty. And they do so willingly. Law enforcement is by no means an easy task or a job for the faint of heart. But for the men and women of Hazleton Police Department and all the other law enforcement members gathered here today, there is no other job. To these men and women, it is not what they do, it is who they are. I am honored to be the mayor of Hazleton. I am honored that this is my HPD, and I am so honored to stand here today and recognize the great job of all these men and women do on a daily basis. To the men and women of the Hazleton Police Department and all the members of law enforcement, Thank you for a job exceptionally done. Thank you. One of the awards is to stand before you and to properly recognize the men and women who are so deserving of your praise. That is why last year, the Hazelton Police Department Awards and Special Recognition Policy was created. The purpose for this is to be able to properly and professionally recognize members of the Hazelton Police Department and the community for actions that go above and beyond the call of duty. For the first time ever this year, 2015, the Hazelton Police Department Officer of the Year Award shall be presented. HPD Officer of the Year. This award may be presented to an HPD candidate who is selected using the following criteria. Must be a full-time Hazleton police officer. Candidates shall display the following job-related attributes. Outstanding work performance, initiative, leadership, effective interpersonal relations. Candidates shall also display a positive image of the department both on and off the job. Additional achievements or factors which should also be taken into consideration for the award shall include membership and extensive participation in civic organizations, motivation for and devotion to enhancing community life, an idea or suggestion submitted by the candidate that results in a significant improvement of department operations. Heroic action. The Hazleton Police Department Officer of the Year Award is presented to Detective Corporal Anthony R. White. For meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty, your constant and continuous dedicated service to the betterment of the department and the community you serve is not without notice. Your actions are so respected and admired that your peers have selected you to receive this award as a lasting tribute to your dedication and professionalism. Given this 15th day of May, 2015, signed Frank V. D'Andrea, Jr., Chief of Police. Hazleton Police Department Officer of the Year 2015, Detective Anthony R. White. The Hazleton Police Department is committed to provide the highest level of integrity, enforce and obey the laws, and serve the entire community of Hazleton with honor. Above all else, to serve and protect. Your actions have continuously raised to a level and beyond even the highest standards of HPD 
and you have made us proud. Congratulations on being awarded the first ever Hazleton Police Department Officer of the Year Award, 15 May 2015. While working as a detective with HPD, you were assigned a missing person case involving a small child who had not returned home from an extended visit with his biological father. Many would have simply entered the child into NCIC and been done. You followed up and through your tenacity and after several days, you were able, you notified the child taken by his father, traveled for many days by boat until they reached a small island thousands of miles away. Only through your diligence and efforts was this child successfully reunited with his mother. The father was arrested by the FBI. Your actions reflect highly, not only of yourself, but on the detective division and the department as a whole. Thank you for a job exceptionally done. Signed, Chief of Police Frank V. DeAndrea, Jr. Gerald Trey Sargent, William Gallagher Corporal, The Senate of Pennsylvania is always pleased to recognize those individuals who contribute in a meaningful way toward the well-being of their communities and this Commonwealth. Detective Anthony R. White is being honored as the 2015 Officer of the Year by the Hazleton Police Department during its third annual Peace Officer Memorial Day ceremony. Whereas Detective White is currently assigned to the Auto Theft Task Force in the Hazleton Police Department. During his career, he has assisted in numerous large-scale investigations with federal, state, and local enforcement, local law enforcement. In addition, he is lauded as the only cross-trained officer with the capability to work directly with the Office of Homeland Security. Since his enlistment, Detective White has faithfully endeavored to preserve and protect the health, safety, and welfare of his fellow citizens. In the finest spirit of public service, he has demonstrated exemplary knowledge, ability, and integrity in carrying out his many responsibilities and earned deep respect and gratitude for his tireless devotion to duty. Now, therefore, the Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania congratulates Detective Anthony R. White on the great honor which is being bestowed upon him, affirmatively states that he serves the Hazleton Police Department and the community at large with distinction offers best wishes for a most rewarding future. Detective Corporal White. Good afternoon. Chief DeAndrea, uh, on behalf of Congressman Barletta, I'd like to personally send his regrets that he couldn't make it today. I'd like to express his sentiments uh, on this solemn day. I regret that I cannot be with you today as you recognize the third annual Peace Officer Memorial Day in Hazleton. In honor of the fallen public servants who keep our communities secure, rest assured my family and I are grateful for all the sacrifices our peace officers make to keep us all safe. As a former mayor of Hazleton, I am well aware of the hard work and dedication of the people in uniform who risk their lives for their neighbors every day. It is often a thankless task, and one that carries with it great dangers. Officers going on duty frequently do not know what awaits them on their shifts, and their families may often wonder 
what difficulties they may encounter while they are working. Too often, the unthinkable happens, which is the reason we honor your fallen comrades today. Across the nation this year, there have already been 44 deaths in the line of duty, which means that an officer has died about every three and a half days on average. Accordingly, I am proud to have sponsored the legislation that permitted the U.S. Capitol grounds to be used for the National Peace Officers Memorial Service. It is my heartfelt view that we can never do enough to recognize th those who are called to the duty of protecting the public, particularly when they make the ultimate sacrifice. I extend to you my most sincere thanks for all that you and your police officers do every day. It remains an honor to serve you in the United States House of Representatives. Very truly yours, Lou Barletta. Dear Chief DeAndrea and dignitaries in attendance and guests, each year we salute the men and women who do the difficult, dangerous, and often thankless work of safeguarding our communities. Our nation's peace officers embody the very idea of citizenship, that along with our rights come responsibilities, both to ourselves and to others. During Peace Officers Memorial Day and Police Week, we celebrate those who protect and serve us every minute of every day. And we honor the courageous officers who devoted themselves so fully to others that in the process, they laid down their lives. As we mourn the fallen, let us also remember how they lived. With unflinching commitment, they defended our schools and businesses. They guarded prisons, patrolled borders, and kept us safe at home, on the road, and as we went about our lives. To their families, we owe an unpayable debt. And to the men and women who carry their mission forward, we owe our unyielding support. We have an obligation to ensure that as police officers face untold risks in the line of duty, we are doing whatever we can to protect them. This means providing all necessary resources so they can get the job done, hiring new officers where they are needed most, and investing in training to prepare those on the front lines for potentially deadly situations. Just as police officers never let down their guard, we must never let slide our gratitude. We should extend our thanks, not only in times of tragedy, but for every tragedy averted, every accident avoided because a patrol officer took a drunk driver off the streets, every child made safer because a criminal was brought to justice, every life saved because police officers raced to the scene. May God bless all of our law enforcement officers. We wish them Godspeed in all they do to protect us. I remain very truly yours, State Representative Tara Tuho. Congressional recognition to Detective Corporal Anthony R. White in recognition of outstanding and invaluable service to the community. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Congressman Barletta, Representative Tuhill, Mr. Shea, and Ms. Resnick. If you know anything about me, you know that sometimes I have to be a little spontaneous, and I love a little surprise. The following awards are going to be a surprise to the individuals who are about to receive them. This is because like the police officers that these men work with, no one ever asks for recognition or praise. In 2014, Mayor Yanuzzi gave permission to me to venture off on two new crusades. You see on a daily basis, law enforcement is a roller coaster. It races 
from the ju most jubilant moments of reuniting an abducted child with their parents or celebrating men and women of law enforcement to the most horrifying of finding a person dead. Much of the time, police have to deal with the most evil and vile things that you can imagine. Think about this for a moment. Picture your worst nightmare. Dark, you're afraid. What are you afraid of most? You're home alone, somebody kicks in the door, you're able to get your loved ones to a room of safety where you could lock the door and you're calling 911 frantically every second waiting for the police to arrive and end your nightmare. Having spent a lifetime in law enforcement, I know our nightmare begins right around the time that yours ends. Your nightmare is over and the nightmare of the police has just begun. I know firsthand police can, cannot call 911. We're sworn to protect and serve and when we're called, we go. When everyone else is running out of harm's way, we run towards the gunfire. As the chief of police, I play many roles, and one is the protector of the men and women of HPD. Personally and professionally, I want to publicly thank Father Thomas Capoloni and Dr. Anthony Simone for being willing to serve the men and women of HPD and this community. For sharing your time, knowledge, and wisdom with me and this community and the members of HPD. The two men I'm about to recognize are both sworn members of the Hazelton Police Department, having been selected by me, approved by the mayor, and appointed by Hazelton City Council. These men serve in the capacity with HPD gratis and give their time and provide their services to the member of HPD and their families, as well as assist in providing outreach to the community we all serve. You may recognize this next guest speaker for the work that he has done many years in Haiti. I would like to ask Bishop Rossetti to please come to the podium and do the honor of reading the letter of commendation and certificate of appointment. Know ye that reposing special trust and confidence in the loyalty, patriotism, fidelity, and prudence of Reverend Thomas A. Capoloni, I, Police Chief of Police for the Hazelton Police Department, do hereby acknowledge said above individual has the title and position of Hazelton Police Department. Chaplain bestowed upon him and to have hold and exercise under said appointment all the power appertaining thereto and to fulfill the duties thereof. Given this 24th day of May 2014. Reverend, if you would read the next one. Reverend Thomas A. Capoloni. For dedicated service to the Hazelton Police Department and the community in which we serve by assisting in creating the first ever Hazelton Police Department Chaplaincy Program. This program creates a partnership with various faith-based leaders to respond and assist law enforcement agencies, providing an overall better quality to the members of this department and the citizens 
of the Hazleton area. Your selflessness and efforts have enhanced the Hazleton Police Department and continue to allow us to fulfill our mission statement, above all else, to serve and protect. You are a true trailblazer. Go get it. Given this 15th day of May, 2015. Signed by Frank D. D'Andrea, Jr. Dr. H. Anthony Simone, please report to the podium. I would like to ask HPD officer Michael Colasurdo to please come to the podium and do the honor of reading the letter of commendation and certificate of appointment. Just watch your step up back up. Certificate of appointment. Know ye that responding special trust and confidence in the loyalty, patriotism, fidelity, and prudence of H. Anthony Simone, Ph.D. I, Chief of Police for the Hazleton Police Department, do hereby acknowledge said above individual has the title and position of the Hazleton Police Department psychologist bestowed upon to him and have hold and exercise under said appointment of all the power appertaining thereto and to fulfill the duties thereof given the day 24th of May 2014. Since your appointment as the first ever Hazelton Police Department psychologist, your expertise as a recognized, nationally renowned police psychologist has allowed the Hazelton Police Department members to remain on top of our game. You allow us to maintain peak operating performance by your constant <coughs> pulse checks, visits, ride-alongs, and training. Your efforts allow the officers of HPD to keep our heads in the game, and that action is un unable to be measured in dollars and cents. Thank you for your dedicated service to the men and women of this department and the community we serve. Given this 15th day of May, 2015, Frank V. DeAndrea, Jr. Thank you for taking part in today's events. I would be remiss if I didn't recognize a few critical people and groups that made today possible. To the members of Hazelton City Council, for your support and for allowing me to bring a chaplain and a psychologist on board. To my wife and my children and my mother, and I can't forget my sister, who have supported me and spent countless hours putting up with me trying to put these ceremonies together and listen to me reading over and over again the citations. I am so grateful to have you in my life. Globe Printing for professionally printing the award certificates and Northwest Territorial Mint for putting the award medals and ribbons together. It's the same company that makes the Congressional Medal of Honor. I have never been as proud as I am today, of these men and women, this department, and the direction we are headed. It is an honor to serve as the Chief of Police for the City of Hazleton and as a Hazleton Police Department member. All through the Bible, our most powerful prayers are for peace. They are so common and so potent because we really need them. So to send you all off with ancient blessings. First, the threefold priestly blessing, Yivarechecha Adonai V'yishmarecha 
May God bring you a blessing of all good things, family, friends, health, joy, and may God keep you safe and strong. Ya'er Adonai panavelecha vichuneka. May God give you light and give you grace. Yisa Adonai panavelecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God turn to you as you face your day-to-day -day challenges and may God grant you peace. Shalom, shalom, l'arachok v'lakarov. Peace, peace to those near and far. And let us say, Amen. Thank you.